for your time. Uh, could you tell us who you are? Hi, yes, I'm Patricia Cochran. I'm the director of the Alaska Native Science Commission and also the former chair of ICC in the Circumpolar Council. Thank you. Can you tell us what you did your presentation on today? Uh, today I was uh, in part of the discussion with Tepteba which was talking about uh, some of the issues that we're facing in the Arctic and other communities, indigenous communities, sensitive issues around adaptation, strategies, etc. And what, what were some of the issues the Arctic people are currently dealing with? Well, we have some really severe problems that are occurring in the Arctic. Uh, number one is that uh, many of our communities are in the process of, of uh, having to look at moving their communities because of the coastal erosion and storms, changes in sea ice conditions that we're seeing. Where our, our, our uh, communities are literally being washed into the ocean. So there's some pretty traumatic and dramatic effects that we're seeing there. 85% of our villages in Alaska are coastal communities, so when you look at the impact of uh, potentially that many communities having to move, it's a, it's a pretty big problem. Uh, what are some possible solutions uh, to these serious problems? Well, you know, there, there's always been assimilation uh, issues that people have talked about. Nobody wants to leave a community. Um, for instance, Shishmaref, which is one of the poster child uh, uh, children for, for climate change, has been there for 8,000 years. So really, how can you expect the communities to, to leave their culture, to leave their communities behind? But I will tell you that some places um, are indeed already moving. We have another village in Alaska, Newtok, that for the last uh, 10 years or so has been negotiating on trading lands and on moving their community to a more inland site so that they'll be more protected. Uh, are there, is there any technology we could use today to possibly not have to move the communities? Well, we're looking at a lot of the adaptation issues and especially uh, some of our own traditional knowledge, what really has worked. Some of the, the housing conditions, for instance, the kinds of houses that we used to build that we're not building anymore, uh, that were subterranean in, in our areas in particular because they were much more energy efficient, they really kept you at, in a, a location that was uh, not next to the sea. Uh, but, but many of our communities, you know, that have the infrastructure that's required now, whether they're school, roads, and all the rest of those things, are very different. Uh, what's the view of the Arctic people uh, in regards to Copenhagen? What do you think uh, the feeling is and what they wish to achieve? Well, I think we all came here with pretty high expectations, and to be quite honest with you, I think they're not being met by, by most groups, and certainly not by Indigenous people. Um, I guess the, the, the best that we're hoping for is that we will have a more concerted effort and a more organized way of making sure that our issues are brought to the table and that we can influence the politics, maybe not, maybe not just here, but really on a worldwide scale. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.